When a missile is fired at White Sands Missile Range, America's largest and busiest overland range, it is photographed from practically every angle. Throughout flight, the missile cannot elude the eyes of scores of photo-optical instruments. These highly specialized devices track tactical and research missiles for the Army, Navy, and Air Force, as well as test vehicles for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. This versatile tracking mount telescope has a 180, a 100, and a 50-inch focal length lens and employs 35 and 70 millimeter motion picture cameras with speeds of 5 to 2,500 frames per second. Missile-borne photo optics are also put to use. Here, the Patriot missile goes past a drone target for near-miss analysis. On the ground, a permanent cinetheodolite records the event, while other mobile tracking instruments have been strategically placed. The versatile tracking mount VTM mobile telescope with 35 and 70 millimeter cameras photographs the near miss. More than 30 years ago on December 5, 1946, the picture was quite different. On that day, a pioneer tracking telescope waited to record the flight of a V-2 rocket. This lone experimental tracker, nicknamed Bright Eyes by its Army developers, employed a 20-power tracking scope as a viewfinder two refracting telescopes, and two 35-millimeter recording cameras. The system was based on a modified M45 gun mount. At this time, no one could be sure Bright Eyes would prove its worth. As the rocket vanished from human view, it had been assumed that it maintained its stable flight. Could this instrument see and record the rocket's actual behavior high in the thin upper air? It could and did. When the film was developed, it clearly showed that the rocket tumbled at peak altitude, a discovery of intense interest to the scientists. The usefulness of photo optics had been firmly established. Here is a sample of data film obtained by Bright Eyes on a subsequent V-2 flight. A planned explosion separates the missile's nose and body so that the body will land on its side, thus minimizing damage to missile-borne scientific recording instruments. Since those days, the United States Army at White Sands has acquired what is probably the best optical instrumentation system in existence. Many of its tracking instruments are highly specialized, designed to photograph only a specific portion of flight. The goal of greater versatility is realized in this aided laser tracking system, which records missile event data on video and magnetic tapes, as well as 16 millimeter motion picture film as shown here. This distant object attitude measurement system tracker, DOMES, is equipped with high-speed 70 millimeter motion picture cameras and has a slant range of 150,000 feet. Image quality is adequate for precision at a slant range of more than 200,000 feet. The high precision mount operates from a radar net data or automatically from an external sensor. It has a 100 inch focal length lens with a 360 frame per second prism camera and a 200 inch focal length lens with a 125 frame per second pin registered camera. Here, the large domes telescope tracks the missile for pitch, yaw, and roll event data. Versatile also are the reliable Contravis synetheodolites. These tracking instruments are used to provide position, velocity, and acceleration data. Mobile telescope, VTM, with precision acquisition and data matrix, record the important terminal portion of flight.
small missile range at White Sands, one of the most heavily instrumented square miles anywhere, uses an extensive photo-optic system. Numerous cameras are deployed for about 6,500 feet on each side of the line of fire. For example, this 70 millimeter streak camera, which operates at rates up to 122 feet per second. This camera operates at rates up to 2,500 pictures per second. Here at the small missile range, an R&D Copperhead anti-tank projectile is ready for firing. Data film such as this provides information to determine missile's effectiveness. Also at the small missile range, the Army's improved tow anti-tank missile is photographed throughout flight for missile performance data. High-speed photography has been of particular value. This shot was obtained by triggering a remotely controlled camera recording system. Precision optical instruments will track the missile during flight. At locations such as this radar station, high-speed cameras are set to photograph the radar scope. This high-speed 35mm camera operates up to 10,000 inches per minute. High-speed photography of radar scopes proved valuable for data collectors. Television instrumentation vans are used to record video signal and serve as a transmitter, receiver, and a relay microwave station. TV systems are used to track air-to-ground missiles. The TV vans have the capabilities to record in color and black and white and television special effects. TV cameras are also adaptable to one half inch to 180 inch length. Here is a videotape recorded by one of the TV systems from a missile borne camera. In the dice throw test, anthropomorphic dummies were positioned to simulate crew members of weapon systems. High-speed motion picture cameras were set up to record external blast response. High-speed cameras in blast-hardened mounts recorded effects on test equipment. More than 600 tons of ammonium nitrate fuel oil explosive was detonated to simulate a nuclear blast. Data film such as this has proved valuable for determining such characteristics of blast performance, shock wave, and flow pattern of nuclear blasts. Holloman Air Force Base on the White Sands Range, the Air Force operates a captive missile test facility. At regular intervals along the high-speed test track, a variety of cameras are positioned. An example is this ribbon frame camera, one of five different types of these cameras in use at White Sands. This 70 millimeter high-speed camera will record motor thrust. Here, a battery of rotating prism cameras are set for high-speed studies of engine ignition. A number of 16 and 35 millimeter hand pan cameras are also available. Here at the Air Force.
Force high speed test track. Various aircraft ejection systems, including both seat and module type, are required to undergo track testing before actual flight. Track test data gained through high speed photography proves valuable for aerospace engineers. Photo optics at White Sands Missile Range have proved an invaluable research tool. A tool well suited for the purposes of both missile technology and scientific study of the upper atmosphere. Yes, photo optics have not only played a key role in the development of weapon systems for protection of the free world, but also in exploration of those frontiers of knowledge remaining between man and the vastness of space itself. <laughs>